All right, Coach. Well, here you are now a few uh, days into practice, getting ready for Wyoming. Well, how, do you, how well do you feel your team is getting prepared for this game coming up Saturday? Well, we got to continue to focus. You know, that's what was a, a struggle last Thursday night is we practiced pretty good mm -hmm. and uh, we knew our assignments and then we got on the big stage when it really mattered and, and uh, really didn't play a, a, a very good game as far as the mental side. We had a lot of mental errors that we just weren't seeing in practice, you know, so uh, we, we've got to continue to work on that and walk throughs and just hammer what, what their uh, what their job is on, yeah. on each play. And if we could do that, we're going to be in good shape. We saw both quarterbacks play against AM on Thursday. Both of them practicing, obviously, in preparation for this game coming up as well. What have the two shown you over the last week or so? Well, somebody's got to separate themselves, and we got to get our quarterbacks to quit throwing to the other team. You know, that, that's the biggest thing. We can't do that to our defense. They were playing well uh, against AM, and and we turned the ball over four times on, on uh, interceptions, and, and uh, they sh we shouldn't have had one interception, much, much less four. And uh, you know, so we got to take care of the ball. And when when one guy or the other starts moving the the offense and, and not turning it over, taking care of it, and, and making good decisions, then then they'll be the clear cut guy. I'm sure the game situation dictates play calling, as does the opponent. And AM was really big up front. You fell behind early and kind of got away from the run game. How important will it be for you to establish a stronger run game this Saturday? You know, we, you'd like to, to run it uh, in, into decent boxes. We, we were handing it off into bad boxes, you know, and that's why I'm talking about the mental side of it is that hand it off when it's, when it's a good situation. And, and uh, early in the game, we, we weren't doing that. We were, we were uh, just not concentrating on, on what their defense was doing. We had some other things there, didn't take them. And then when you're running into a seven-man box against a team like that, you're not going to have much success running. You know, and that wasn't the game plan to, to do that. So looking back at the Wyoming-Missouri game, it felt like Missouri, uh, Wyoming's defense was kind of bend but don't break. They gave up over 500 yards, but also forced three turnovers, taking one of the back for a score, two others inside uh, the 10-yard the, the, uh, line. So looking back at their first game, what, what stood out to you in watching Wyoming on tape? Well, I think they're a great unit and uh, very well coached. They have a great scheme. Uh, they take advantage of opportunities to get turnovers. They get the takeaways. Their offense doesn't turn it over, and, and their defense uh, uh, gets gets a ball for them. But they they fly around. You know they're very very physical, tough football team, and and uh, you know they're they're, they're going to be quite a challenge. What, what are your thoughts on their front seven in particular? I think they're very good. Yeah. You know, and they're active, and and uh, you know we're, we're going to have to be able to put some some uh, first downs together and and uh, be efficient with with that thing, and and uh, you know. You, like to, to, to get some some drives that are 10, 12, 13 plays and, and uh, try to slow those guys down a little bit. Spoke with Coach uh, Zach Spavadol about the importance for his defense to win first and second down. How important will that be for you offensively to create some third and shorts? Well, you, you, you want to stay out of the, the third and longs and third and mediums because then they can pin their ears back and, and get after you. And, and uh, they're, they're great against uh, the pass. Their pass rush is, is very, very good. And, and so if you can if you can stay out of third down altogether, that would be awesome. Yeah. And uh, if it's third and short, then you can do a lot of different things and, and uh, keep them off balance a little bit. What are some things that you can improve on this week to get the run game more involved? Uh, it was, you know, last week it was, it was more of, of just the mental side of it. You know, you, you've got some things that you, you can go to each play, and we were handing it off into a bad box, and uh, it wasn't, it wasn't the game plan. I, I think we've, we've got, uh, you know, a, a chance and got a handle on how we may be able to, to uh, take advantage of, of some certain formations and, and some runs, but uh, uh, we got to be smarter at quarterback when we do hand the ball off.